It's a peacock. Hey there creators, Neev here, and this is the My Favorite Animal series number nine, and that is a peacock. And I know I did a peacock a few weeks back, and that was actually a coloring page. And I'll leave a card pop up to that. And uh, yeah, I was not expecting to do the animal series when I did that peacock. Otherwise, maybe I would have saved that for later, but I don't know. Um, so it's fine. My, so if this is the first episode you're seeing of this series, what I'm doing is... Uh, I'm creating a painting or an illustration or a piece, an art piece, of uh, my top 10 favorite animals, starting with number 10. And if you want to see number 10, I'll leave a card pop up for that. Um, and uh, I am selling all of the original pieces, and 30% of the cost of the original piece that I sell will be donated to the World Wildlife Federation. And yeah, but if you want prints, um, uh, I can't donate with that because it's through my Redbubble, but uh, if you do want prints, they are available on my Redbubble. All right, let's get started on the peacock. Hi, everyone. So this is the second installment of the My Favorite Animals series. For these, I'm going to do a piece of artwork for my top 10 favorite animals, starting at number 10, which was uh, a few weeks ago. And today is my number nine favorite animal, the peacock. So I will have each of these available on my Etsy shop, and the link is in the description. Um, and 30% of the costs of the paintings will be donated to the World Wildlife Federation. Um, if you'd rather have a print, um, those are available on my Redbubble. And again, the link for that is in the description. Though uh, no money will be uh, donated for the prints. The donation is just for the original pieces. All right, so let's learn about the peacock, or rather, the pea fowl, or pea foal, <laughs> however you pronounce it. Fo we commonly use the term peacock to refer to both male and female pea foal. However, peacock is actually the male term, while pea hen is the female term. The males are also the ones with the long, colorful tails, while the hens are more drab and brown. Um, and this is pretty typical among amongst birds. Uh, the males tend to be the more elaborate ones uh, so that they catch the eye of the females. Uh, Peafowl are one of the largest birds capable of flying. Uh, even with that long tail, they can fly. Um, including the tail, they can reach up to 5 feet in length and weigh about um, 8 to 13 pounds. The elaborately colored tails uh, change their colors depending on the light hitting them, and they change at every angle, um, every angle you look at them due to the reflections. Uh, the tails have spots that look like eyes, and they are surrounded by red, green, and gold feathers. Um, like I said earlier, the tails are meant as a way of attracting the the hens who choose the tails uh, that are the longest, widest, and most colorful, which leads me to their mating habits. Peafowl are polygamists. That means that the male mates with multiple females, whereas the females are devoted to one male. The peacock runs a harem consisting of about two to five peahen. There are a few types of peafowl. Um, two Asiatic species, uh, the Indian peafowl is native to India, Sri Lanka, and Pakistan, and the green peafowl, which is native to Myanmar, Indochina, and Java. There is also the African species called the Congo peafowl, and that is native to the Congo Basin. If you've ever seen a white peacock, um, they are extremely rare and 
occur due to a genetic mutation. Some of them are actually albino, while others are experiencing a condition called leucism. They are sustained through selective breeding in captivity. People are omnivores, which means they eat plants and meat. Wild people are ground feeders, hunting various insects, arthropods, reptiles, amphibians, rodents, and other small mammals. They also forage for berries, fruits, seeds, grains, wild figs, flower pe petals, among other plant life. Which brings us to the people's main predators, and that is tigers, leopards, and the mongoose. Uh, when a peafowl senses danger, they typically fly away very quickly and hide in trees. As far as their endangered status goes, neither the Congo people nor the Indian people are categorized as endangered. However, the green people went on the endangered species list in 2012. The downward progression of the population started early in the 20th century. Conservation efforts have been made, um, which largely consists of keeping green people in captivity to help reproduction. So now let's get to information about the peafowl family. As mentioned earlier, peafowl are polygamists and a family that consists of one peacock, a few peahen, and their pea chicks is called a bevy. A group of peafowl that are not necessarily a family is called a party of peafowl. Peahen lay about three to five eggs, and they usually hatch in about 28 days. Babies are able to walk, eat, and drink without assistance on day one. All right, that was information about the peafowl. I hope you really liked it. <laughs> As for the artwork information, uh, this was done with Daniel Smith watercolors on Arches hot pressed watercolor paper. I'm sure you noticed my nifty little Altoid tin palette. Um, next week's video will actually be me making it, so stick around for that. I also used some gold acrylic paint in the tail to give it an extra sparkle and really make the radiance and luminance of the peacock's tail shine through. Alright, we're getting into the screenshot now. Thanks so much for sticking around guys. for sticking around to the end. That means so much to me. Um, if you're new here and you want to see more of this sort of content, click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. And um, yeah, thanks for sticking around. Um, later creators, bye.